Hi, welcome to Learn With Me. Today we're going to talk about the computer keyboard. So, when we're looking at the letters on the computer keyboard, you may notice that the F and the J have a special little bump. That's called the home key, and it helps you to put your fingers on the home row. Because from the home row, we can easily type by moving up or down with our fingers all the letters of the alphabet. This is the home row. Now you'll see that my thumbs are very close to this large key here. This key is the space bar. And we are to press the space bar with our thumbs when we want to make a new space. Now, when we're done typing or we want to move to a new row or input information, this is the key. On some computers, it's called return. On some, it's called enter but it always is kind of like t the tapping you might do on your phone. It inputs the information, finishes, moves to the next row, or completes the task. <clears throat> Over on this side, we have the key called the shift key. Now the shift key helps you to get to an additional group of keys. So if we look here at the number keys, we can see that above the numbers, there are different symbols. If we want to get to those symbols, we need to press and hold the shift key, and then we would press the other symbol. Now this symbol, we see all the time, it's a symbol that we might use when we're typing our email address. It's the at symbol and it's right up above the two. And I press the shift, then the two, to get to the at symbol. This also helps me to get to other symbols such as underline, plus, question mark, quotation marks. So, I hope you've learned a few more things about <clears throat> the keyboard.